Edgar Allan Poe was a famous author and poet best known for writing tales and poems with creepy twists. April is Mo Poetry Month. Celebrate with this retelling of the tale, Telltale Heart, a classic spooky short story that Poe penned in 1843. Long before Goosebumps or Lemony Snicket, the master of blood curdling stories and poems was a man named Edgar Allan Poe. Poe wrote about murder and morgues, about gargoyles and being buried alive. And this tale still considered one of the most horrific stories ever written. It's the story of a man who has lost his mind. I'm not that crazy! Thus the tale begins. It starts with the old man. That's right, the old man. Would you kindly bring me some tea? Of course. I'll be right there. With the morning paper, too. Yeah. Thank you. You don't look well today. Didn't you get any sleep last night? I'm fine. If anything, my senses are especially keen. You seem to have a headache. Let me get up and fix you something. No, no. You enjoy your tea. Such, Such a kind-hearted kind old man. Such a kind one. True. He never done me harm. But he had this one sickly eye. Oh, I despised looking at it. It was like that of a vulture, pale blue with a milky white film upon it. A milky white film! I wasn't crazy. It was the eye. It taunted me. It bladed me. It drew me from my room. I had to extinguish that eye. He had to extinguish the eye. So I set about the task. Night after night, I crept into his room. But every night, the eye was closed. It was on the eighth night as I crept that I heard the old man sit up suddenly in bed. He cried out in fear! Who's that? I remained still. For hours I stood there without moving, barely breathing. And then I shone upon my light, a single beam upon the eye. It was, it was open! Wide, wide open! And it made me furious to look upon that dull blue milky eye. The vulture's eye! And then I heard it. The beating of the old man's heart. Faster and faster. Louder and louder. I couldn't stand it no longer. I left. <laughs> oh, gee. It was over. The heart was still. The eye was closed forever. The eye would bother me no longer. An hour later, there came a knock at the door. No, it was the police. Yeah. Want to come in? No. no. There's been a complaint. Your neighbors. They called. A scream was heard. With this? Ah. Oh. Yes. Ah. Oh. <coughs> or at least that's what they're saying. It's suspicious, don't you think? Yes. My shriek. It was a shriek of terror. It was my own, during a dream. Or a nightmare. May we come in? Have a look around. Investigate? He invited oh, them in. in. Yes, I invited them in. But I wasn't worried. For I had carefully hidden the now closed eye and silent heart beneath the floorboard. Please, have a seat. Thank you, kind sir. So, who else lives here? Yes, with whom do you live? And why isn't he here? Ah, the old man. He is crazy. There is his room, his bed is made, his belongings are in Something wrong? You seem to have a headache. You should sit. Fine idea. Perhaps you would join me for tea. Why, that would be lovely. He served, he served them tea. Indeed. For what had I to fear? I brought chairs into the room and served the tea upon the very spot where I replaced the floorboards. The officers chatted about familiar things. It seemed that I had fooled them well. Could a crazy man have done that? Could he? But soon he wished them gone. Why wouldn't they leave? Then they came a ringing in my ears. A muffled buzzing sound. 
Buzz. 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 I raised my voice, but still they chatted. The buzzing grew louder until they realized it wasn't buzzing at all, but a ticking sound. Like that of a watch or a clock or a time bomb. Tick, 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 tick. I clutched my forehead, but they shattered on as if nothing were wrong. The noise grew louder, and then I knew it for, for what it was. Boom, 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 boom. Louder, louder, louder. I paced the floor with heavy strides. I hissed, I growled, I gestured with my arm. Boom, 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 boom. And then it came to me. They were mocking me with their innocent smiles and their sips of tea. Oh, oh the agony! Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh, since we're here, we should be reporting back at the station. Thank you kindly for the tea. Louder, okay. louder still. I can bear it no longer. Boom, 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 boom. Villains, monsters, I did it. I confess, tap the floor. Here it is, the beating of the hideous heart. That's right, I did it, but I shan't tell you what happened next. No, shall I tell you what's to happen now if you don't stop staring with those vulture eyes? It was over. The heart was <laughs> <laughs> It was Three, over. Two, one, zero. The heart was It was over. The heart was still. The eye was closed forever. The eye would trouble me no more. An hour later there came came a knock at the door. It was the police. Diamond, what are you doing? Yeah, you doing? Wait, wait, wait. Long before Goosebumps or Lemony Snicket. <laughs> Start oh over. my god! It's suspicious, don't you think? Yes, the shriek. A shriek of terror. It was my own. During Maybe come in. Or a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs>